everybody and welcome back. I'm Royal Runner and today I'm going to be having a look at Prismata, the early access version. Now I was kindly get sent this game as a free version by the publishers Lunark Studios, thank you very much folks, and I thought I would reboot my reviewing on this channel of PC games by taking a really critical look at what the game does for social justice or um, any sort of social justice issues within the gaming industry. Now I've decided to review Prismata because it is a turn-based strategy game really based on tabletop games. So this game has been described as a cross between chess, Starcraft and Hearthstone, although I have seen reviews that uh, say it is nothing like those and it is um, a completely new game altogether, which I'm really hoping it is. So I'm going to start off by reading what the publishers have to say about this game. Prepare yourself for the ultimate strategy game. Prismata, the gripping debut from Lunark Studios, radically redefines the strategy genre by combining elements of real-time strategy, card games and tabletop strategy games to create something entirely new and unique. Competing against other humans or ruthlessly efficient AI, you'll plan devastating attacks through a series of quickfire turns. Will you outwit your opponents by striking at the perfect moment, or will you fall victim to a devious trap? So I could go through all the different things that it says on its Steam store page, uh, but I really encourage you to have a look at that and see what I'm getting into. Basically, it has a load of different game modes. Some of them are multiplayer and online. Some of them are um, solo uh, campaigns, I suppose, against AI. I haven't played this game at all, so I thought I'd give you a first look at it and kind of critique it as I go along and uh, see what holes I can pick in the game. But I'm sure it is a wonderful game having seen the reviews already come up on Steam. So I'm going to go straight to the campaign. Uh, I haven't started anything yet. I haven't changed my profile picture or anything. This is just what I'm looking at. Apparently this will go through a tutorial for me. So we're going to start off with episode one. Uh, Junkers. Crime is so rare in the autonomous desert city of Centauri that only one guardian swarm wielder is kept on the payroll. He doesn't like his job very much. Oh dear. I'm not going to click expert challenge. I think that is a little bit too much for today. Oh, we are on the tidally locked planet of Beacon. One half always faces the sun, receiving constant daylight. The other side remains in perpetual darkness. Wow. Okay. Um, are we on the sun side? Looks like it. If we're at a solar power generation outpost, we would be a bit of a shame if that outpost was on the dark side, for sure. So already graphics are looking great, really like the clean uh, look of them, the kind of futuristic side of things. Um, doesn't look like anything on Earth, which I can appreciate. Oh, we have our first character, a lovely, what looks like a cis white man. Suede, Giselle, any work for me today? Oh, am I Giselle? Interesting. Uh, Suede Wong. Guardian Swarm Wielder, lots of education, um, excellent in the military, because we absolutely adore the military Hello, here. Steve. Giselle, okay, I'm not Giselle. I was excited then, I'm not Giselle. No deploy requests in the last 578 days, sir. Robot, excellent female, uh, underneath a man in hierarchy, fantastic, okay. Um, I He'll be at the bar. Excellent. Suede. Okay, another geeky assistant this time. I'm going to guess he's very, very queer coded. <laughs> uh, data scientist, very geeky. Technology. Um, interestingly, by the way, the publishers, I think, are all uh, from MIT. And uh, this education, at least, sounds very similar to an MIT education, especially looking into the PhD later. Oh. Okay, interesting. Liking the ancestry uh, route down there. Um, I might have missed that with Suede. I wasn't looking too closely. Logan, it's not that. There's a situation down at the Centauri Robotics Factory. Oh no, I told them last time. We aren't responsible for parking disputes. No, we just received an incident report. Code red. Apparently one of their robo custodians pushed a foreman over a three-story catwalk railing. Ah, that can't be right. It's probably another jumper. Two witnesses called it in, you need to check it out. All right, at least it's on the way to the bar. So I'm Suede, is this what's going on now? Suede, the uh, sheriff trying to save the world. Excellent, oh, I keep forgetting to click. Um, oh, we have sunglasses now. Hell yeah. Let's look 
conventionally cool too. Okay, I'm here. Where's the casualty? They already scraped him off the pavement. The victim's barely alive. They took him to emergency care. Apparently a whole batch of robots went crazy. People are evacuating. Excellent use of crazy is a completely ableist term that I'm personally trying to uh, use less, though I'm not doing very well. Could have done without that one in the game. Can't supervisors just turn them off? They've tried everything. The bots are completely ignoring override and shutdown commands. They need You need to terminate them. Ha, most action I've had on the job in months. Got your prismata slate. Oh, let's see if this thing still works. Okay, excellent. Tutorial time. I want to know what to do. Activate your assembler. Okay, I've clicked on it. Assembler creates a steel splitter. Thank you. Okay, that's what's happening. That's being... Okay, that's the construction. Okay. Don't know what that is. What just happened? So, we're going to create another one of those. That sounds about right. And then... Attack. Att okay, damage goes to an attack pool. That's helpful. Don't need to calculate the damage myself. Click uh, where to assign the attack pool. Okay, cool. That was nice and easy. All right, so we're back in the next level of the tutorial and uh, we've got a number of assemblers where obviously we're gonna keep creating as many steel splitters as possible. We're gonna add 10 points to the um, damage that we're doing. Uh, there's six of these. Um, four, five of those, each with, uh, okay, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do, we're gonna kill, I don't know what the scrapper does, scrapper doesn't do anything right now, um, so we'll just kill all of those, and we'll kill one of those, excellent, I don't seem to be taking any damage, as far as I can tell, so we really don't need to be using the Odin, the Odin will, um, get rid of a steel splitter to, um, gain four. No, that's fine. Oh, like, I might as well, right? Let's sacrifice a steel splitter. Okay, I think it did that for me. Excellent. Um, I have 16. There's four of those left. Let's kill all of those. Um, considering none of these have attacks, uh, it seems a bit silly for me to really do anything. And then we'll do that. We'll consume one of those. Pew! Easy. Easy peasy. So currently this game is working really really fast and now I don't have the highest end computer in the world. I will leave my computer details down below but essentially I'm really liking how easy this game is to run and play. My computer is not making loads of loads of sounds um, which is normally a good sign and uh, you know gameplay is really easy. There's like ways to speed up this dialogue which I normally don't like. Suede, you really trashed the place. Just decommissioned a corporate soup can factory. I guess that was pretty simple compared to fighting in the war, huh? Nothing compares to that. The slate interface was so primitive back then. You had to individually control every unit in the swarm. Now you just point and click. Just point and click. Yeah, about that. We need to have a talk. If you want to talk, you know where to meet me. And we're now going to the bar. Because alcohol is apparently okay. I'm absolutely fine with alcohol, I drink alcohol, but it just seems very stereotypical right now. The characters are very stereotypical. Um, the gendering of the characters, oh my goodness, we're at a bar already. Um, veteran saves the day, uh, very, that to me sounds quite American. Um, so overall, you know, it's playing to a lot of stereotypes on the social side of things, uh, but so far the gameplay itself I'm really liking. All right, so we're back in another fight. I managed to skip a load of dialogue because it was very boring in that the veteran didn't know if he really wanted, he really liked his job anymore. And that was about it. There's now another problem in the factory, <laughs> uh, kind of expected. So I have to destroy all malfunctioning waste management bots. So they can't really do anything to me as much as it seems. So I get one gold a turn by the drones. Thank you. Ah, uh, and now, Okay, so obviously I need to create a Blast Forge to create this blue item, um, which can then help me buy all of these wonderful things. Okay. Excellent. So I've got one of those. I've got 13 gold. Ayo. Uh, I'm just going to create another one of each of those things um, because I can. I have enough money for it all. 
Activate drones to get money. Blast wood produces one of these per turn. Use resources to buy more units. Makes sense. Um, we're just gonna build up. Got nothing else to do really. Maybe I should wait for a drake next time. Oh, I have an incoming communication. So I installed this nice chat app. What do you think? Oh no, is this going to be really annoying tips that can't come along? This is going to be annoying. Accidentally killed a blast forge, but it seems like I can't undo actions. Okay, so I've, I've accidentally activated the drake to uh, consume a blast forge, which because I didn't read the instructions properly. But it looks like you can't undo an action, which is a bit of a silly... Uh, mechanic you should definitely in the planning stage of any sort of card game you should be able to undo an action that's a bit of a silly thing but obviously we'll now have to recreate we'll create two blast forges if you if this person is going to keep consuming them all ah that looks better okay so i'm just going to keep doing this until uh I kill them because you know it's not that interesting for you all to watch so now the whole factory is turning against the humans as expected already we're still pretty much in tutorial mode um, and we're doing another fight this time we've got engineers now engineers will give us energy and energy is used to uh, buy drones so you know it's quite nice looking at all the different resources that we've got so far i'm really liking the look of this uh i'm gonna want to keep having loads of money really aren't i so i'm gonna get one of each of those i feel like that was necessary um so this is just going to be really annoying because they're not attacking me this is just going to take forever i'm not going to lie i'm not really liking uh the tutorial because i just can't do much <laughs> um as in it's not very interesting i don't feel like i'm against an opponent i just feel like i'm against a wall basically oh look i can undo actions that's good to know uh control z backspace the usual ones uh as expected Mm, I'm gonna have another blast forge and another steel splitter because I can. It's nice to see that um, gold keeps replenishing itself. Um, I quite like that aspect. I'm very used to real card games like Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic the Gathering. So something like this, which is so quick, is very hard to get my head around. And obviously you've got all the different resources, which is not quite the same as those two IRL card games. I have another incoming communication. Hey Suede, I want to conduct a software autopsy on these drones. Can you grab one of their logic chips from the debris when you're done? Will do, if I can find one without any holes in it. Oh, is that it? Okay. Well, it's nice. Little background story here. Money! We want all the money! Uh, I'm going to get two more drones, a blast forge. going to kill the blast forge. And then do that. Um, I think a minimum of two blast forges is needed uh, because otherwise um, I won't have enough to build a drake which seems pretty useful as it gives you two damage a turn just automatically you don't have to think too much about it how much do I have left for by scrapper um, so they have no more drones so they can't keep creating more gold which I know I should have done from the beginning I was just a bit slow uh, we're gonna keep oh I didn't mean to do that oh well that's fine um, how much do I have? Five. We'll just do that then. Uh, how much? Ten. Ten. We'll do seven and three of those. That's nice and easy. Do it bit by bit. All the gold in the world. Um, proceed to damage. Six. One of those. One of those. Ding. Bing. We're on eight damage. We can kill two of those. We can get another one. We can kill all three. Like so. Oh, I just killed the two boss forges. Oh, well. That's okay. I think we're okay as we are. Twelve damage. Look at that. Let's kill the final dumpster. And then I'm not even going to buy anything. Proceed to damage. Kill those two. Thank you. Oh, end turn. Win by turn 19. I was very close there. Um, oh well, I didn't complete the full objective, but that's fine. I wasn't really looking at it to do that. 
New blueprints acquired, I can now make a drake, which is brilliant. Um, I think this is because this is just a tutorial, I won't have the ability to do everything straight away that I learn about. I mean, a couple more steel splitters and we would have gone over budget again. Maybe you shouldn't have blown all your money on Giselle's upgrades. She turned out to be pretty useful today. You should come back to the office. It's your turn to file all the reports this week. Fine. Can't complain after getting to blow up this much stuff in one day. So again, we've got this macho guy um, really at the head of things, being the hero, while geeky, queer-coded guy is the assistant. Um, I'm not impressed with the story right now. I'm not going to lie. This is very basic stuff. The gameplay, on the other hand, I am very impressed with. I didn't read what that just said then because I'm too busy social justicing right now. This seems like a very good game at the moment. Do let me know what you folks think of it down in the comments below. Uh, I really hope you don't take away too much criticism from this game because I can see all the effort that's going into it um, really in the very fast speedy mechanics of all of it um, and the, the gameplay and I can I'm very enthusiastic currently about the um, gameplay and the strategy that can come in from it. I feel very much that the strategy involved is currently only in tutorial stage, um, so I am really expecting some really hard battles that I'm not going to be able to win. So I'm now going to fast forward into the future to a proper battle that uh, puts me against another enemy so we can see all the different mechanics at work see if I like it I'm also going to skip over some of the story so I don't spoil it for you folks if you really enjoy the story side of games okay so this is the final mission I'm going to do for this let's play this is fighting once more gunbot forces after Alia has stepped in we're going to create some engineers they're a good sign of uh, defense as I've just worked out with previous missions um, we're not going to create any defense bits confirm allows you to have a final look and make any necessary changes okay I can press space that's helpful uh, six turns until enemies arrive okay so we're gonna create two of those I think and our turn uh, commit and I'm not ready for this I'm not thinking super hard leftover gold is stored and can be spent in future turns helpful Leftover behemian, behem, behemium. That's what the blue stuff is called, behemium. Leftover behemium is discarded at the end of each turn. Don't waste it. Okay, so we, that means we need to create two um, of something. I'm really worried now that I'm not doing this right. I've got four turns left and mm, I want to obviously create loads of omega splitters but it means i need lots of bohemium uh i'm gonna create one of each of these and then i'm out of gold so i think walls are gonna be useful uh right now <laughs> still creating all of this gold i've only got 10 gold so i'm just gonna create loads of drones i think uh well we don't need to attack right now <laughs> um, imagine attacking to nothing that's that's me that's just me when i play games easily so i've got 15 gold a turn now uh that's fine so i can then create as much as i want and i've got three blast forges um cool one turn until the enemy arrives i should have 15 no it said i had this is silly actually i'm gonna just undo some of that Right, buy one more drone, wall, wall, and turn. Commit. 16, right, okay, there we go. Looks like they're here, that's it, I was expecting more of them. Um, let me guess, there are more of them, a lot more, looks like four groups of them in total, so essentially it's like four waves of things. Cool. So you're going to absorb two of my crap. I'm going to absorb one of you. Uh, we're obviously going to pile that in, but how many is that? One. Okay. Excellent. So that means one, two, add six is eight. I need to get at least nine damage, essentially. So I'm going to keep creating these Omega Splitters and hope that we can destroy some of these walls. Why did they let... Okay. Um, 
How much do I have? Five. We'll just do the same again, I think, for now. Uh, I'm going to create one more. I think I'm just going to create some stockade for now. Oh. Oh, I accidentally cancelled something. Oops. Uh, that's fine. Cool. Overrun defenders. Yay! With sufficient attack, you can breach the enemy defences. Leftover damage can be assigned to enemies you choose. Woo! How much do I have? I have three left. Kill one of those tough ones, I think. They do the same damage, but they're going to take longer to, to die. So, might as well do that while I can. How much damage are you dealing for? <laughs> um, we can do this properly, actually. If I do that and that. Oh, they're both going to die, though, aren't they? Um, yeah, that's fine. Cool. That's fine. I keep my walls open. How much damage are you doing? Nine. That's 12. Add three is 15. I need to be able to do 15 plus damage. Okay, let's commit. See what you do. Oh, I destroy some of your crap. Excellent. Um, I don't think I'm working out this uh, <laughs> very well. But that's okay. I think I should use an engineer next time, I think, to block because I don't think I'm doing it right. Uh, what does that say? Enemy could breach your defences. Oh. Ooh. Uh, that means I want some walls. I can't breach them anymore. Bye. Bye, tough gunbot. Excellent. How much is that? Seven. Yeah, we'll just do that, I think. Actually, I could probably do... I don't really want to... Yeah, that's what I want to do. That's better. What are, you, what are you telling me? Is there more coming? Do you know why swarm wielding interface uses a sword and shield for attack and defense? Is it the same reason you think you still click that paper rectangle thing to read messages? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's funny. So basically, it's tradition. Uh, what does that do? Okay, I didn't gain attack on that one. That's fine. Uh, 12. I think I'm doing enough damage now, but I'm just going to add another Omega Slizzard for the sake of it. Excellent. So I managed to defeat all of them at least once. So that's cool. I want to create some more of those and more of those uh, in turn. No, I don't want it in turn. Don't forget to click. Thank you for reminding me here. <laughs> okay, I'm destroying their defenses. That's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. Ten that's okay I want more no undo that one walls walls uh, I don't want another bass forge but I will happily take another engineer and overrun you yeah I think I've got this game mode sorted to be honest Just defeated everything there, got some more XP, uh, get some more blueprints. Combat training is now unlocked. Woo, that's another game mode that I could do if I wanted. I assume that's kind of like practice mode. So that is what I'm going to show you for this game so far. Let me know what you think of this game down in the comments below. Please leave a like if you like this new sort of video with me critiquing what's going on in this game a little bit more than saying, oh my goodness, this game is excellent. Because I do think there's a lot of really good stuff going on in this game. I mean, the fact that I can run it, I can run it well, it runs quickly, the mechanics are really interesting and I want to see how that works a little bit more working out all the different resources and also trying out the new game modes if you would like to see some of those game modes let me know down in the comments below um, however obviously I am looking at this through a social justice lens so not everything has been 
perfect with this game. We're looking at what seems to be cis white male guy. I didn't look at the ancestry of Suede, so I could have been wrong with that one. He could be of a, another um, ethnicity, but I am not sure from the graphics. Uh, the gender imbalance is very, very obvious here, as we can see both female kind of characters um, have been on the lower end of the hierarchy against the male characters. Wonderful, not really obviously. One little point to remember is that I think half of the publishing team or uh, at least three people in the publishing team are people of colour. So uh, this is why I decided to really show off this game is because not only was it a bit of an interesting take on the kind of tabletop card game strategy game for PCs but also had some people of colour involved in that too because we need to be raising the voices of people of colour, LGBTQ plus people and disabled people in the gaming industry especially to do with RPGs and tabletop games so that is why I am creating videos like this I hope you enjoyed it please again let me know down in the comments below if you know of any games D&D &D modules anything like that that you'd like to see reviewed through this critical social eye lens and uh, I will see you in the next video whenever that is bye bye